Welcome back to Speargrass Forge. If you're new here, thanks for coming. If you're coming back, thanks for returning. Today, I'm going to be attempting to make my very own box jaw tongs so I can use it to hold spring steel in order to make tooling. Stick around. Singing true, rely, you rely, eh? Singing true, rely, you rely, eh? Singing true, rely, you rely. Alrighty, so uh, in making these tongs, I'm starting off with a piece of 12mm uh, by 25mm uh, uh, stock bar, or it's approximately just under half inch by one inch. This bar is about uh, 20, 20 inches in length, just so it can hold one end while I'm working the other. And, but I'm going to measure and uh, put points on both sides so that uh, I'm going to be equal with the uh, nibs and stuff like that. So. <laughs> From the first end, I'm going to about an inch, an inch in from the end of the bar, which is going to be my nib, and then about an inch and a half from there will be what would be the uh, length of the actual jaws, and then an inch further for the boss. Alrighty, so I'm going to stick this into the fire, into the, into the forge, get it hot, and we'll work on one side, and then once that's done, flip around, work on the other. Back in a moment. Alrighty, so now the bar's nice and hot. Just gonna find this, uh, this center point mark. Bring it over the anvil at that point. Neck it down a bit. And same thing at the other mark on the same side. And just gonna heat back, drop that back in the forge, heat it back up. What we're trying to do is bring this area down to about half the thickness. You don't have to use a bigger hammer as I have for doing this. You can do this with a smaller hammer. It's going to take a bit more effort, a bit more time. Get that back up hot, and I'll, I'll uh, move it a little bit, a little hammer for a little while. Slowly getting there. Consider it such big stock. I want to keep it nice and hot whilst I'm uh, poisoning that down. Uh, now that this bit, now that this bit is roughly done, straighten that up. Right, I want to come heat up this section, come back here to about there, and drop it down so that as that creates that boss area. Right, so. Where's that mark? There's that mark right about there. All right, so.
So now we've got got that shaped out. I'm going to do heat up, start heating up this section of the bar, and working down toward the hand. Alrighty, so there's one side done. So it's gone from the 10 inches that it originally was. Right, it's now 12, 13, 14, about 15 inches long from, from tip to here. Now we'll, we'll shorten up once we bend this, bend this around a little bit. Might want to thin it out just a little bit more. Now we've got this rain drawn, this rain drawn out. I can, uh, I can now focus on just uh, tidying this up, polishing this up a bit, um, and we'll probably hit the boss just a little bit, just to spread it out, just a touch, and then um, and then we'll flip it round. I'll flip it round, and I'll start working on this end. So stick around, um, and I'll be back in a minute. that off, flip around, work on the other end. Right, so now just managed to uh bring out finish off the reins, just uh cut them in half and finish off and finishing off finishing off the end of these reins bring it down just a touch and them out a bit. So that's basically one tong blank finish. Now we're just going to work on, on the actual nib and the boss. So I'm going to whack this in the quench, cool it off, um, and then we'll work on the other one quickly, and then uh, work on the. Then we'll start working on the jaws. Now, and bring them together. You can see that the the arms and the and the boss uh, the nibs are about the same. I need to work on this one, the boss on this one a little bit, um, just to flatten it out a bit to bring it in the same size as this one and offset it, um, offset it this way, so it's so it's uh, at the same uh, at this one, ready to go into the pair of tongs. And then I've just got to either drill or punch the hole and work on the actual nib. So I'm going to stick this one in the fire, leave this one out for the moment just as a comparison and then uh, we'll get back into it. Okay, so now the blanks are done. Now I just have to heat these up, run a chisel down them and split it out, down here and split it out um, and then round it off basically to fit the stock that I'm going to be using. So. Um, uh, well, first of all, what I'm going to do, just grab a cold chisel. I'm going to mark out the centre of these. Oop. Nice and gently first. So my 
So my hot chisel has a guide and I don't have to go guessing and chasing. That one is probably deep enough. Check the rounded edge. That looks pretty good to me. This is the type of stuff I want it to hold, so that looks pretty good to me. That's those two. Done. lines up. So now I've just got to heat these up, bend these around in the line, so that see it's done. Now I've just got to heat these up, bend these around in the line, and uh, most of that, some of that will be done at the uh, at the uh, vice. Uh, what I'm going to do, heat up this section, stick these in the vice, hammer it, hammer it basically um, back um, do set on on both sides. Then basically, I'm going to bend it round into uh, into the loop shape so that it can basically end up like these. A little bit shorter, but that's okay. So stick around. Okay, so let's try that again. The back of the voice, the hammer. Right, about where we want it. Maybe a little bit more. Grab this. A little bit of tweak. Make sure it's straight. Cool. Alright, so that's there. So now I've just got to heat up this back bit and basically bend that, bend that rear bit back to bring it back in line with the jaw. The, the boss. Alright, so I've just got my um, bending jig here. I'm just going to bring this around. Just give this a bit of a tweak. Back this way. Bring it back. Until it's in line. So now that these are done, just gotta draw, draw the boss, line up the jaws a bit, heat her up, and uh, and set them. So I'll get I'll, I'm gonna go drill the boss now and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Holes are now in there, so now I'm just gonna uh, push a uh, rivet through, set it, heat it back up, set that rivet, and then we'll work on uh, adjusting the jaws. So this is the one I prepared earlier. Alrighty, so now it's nice and hot, let's set this right. Right, so 
open it right up so we can get some decent sized stock. Right, so now that rivet's beautifully set, and now just a matter of getting some sock in there, getting these getting these jaws straight, and uh, let's see if I can straighten these up. Touch now, so yeah, so they're a lot straighter now. So now it's just getting some stock in into the uh, actual into the jaws, and we'll set the jaws over us over the stock. So let's just heat up the jaws and get this done. Okay, so just gonna whack this piece of stock in here and just bring these jaws around onto it. Put it back inside these jaws a bit. Might need to heat these back up just a touch. Just adjust these jaws just a touch more. And that looks pretty good to me. So now, now that's done, I'm going to grab this stock, stick it in the vise, but I'm going to heat up this boss area just to adjust these reins in a little bit because they're a little bit far out for me to hold while working at the moment. So I'll get, get into that. I'm fast, so I'm not going to make it. Alright, so, bring that in just a touch. I'm a little bit wonky, so bend it down. Tighten up those rivets. Just a touch. Work it loose again. And I believe we're done. Grab my piece of this bar, and that's not going anywhere. So, made a successful piece of uh, tongs so I can make tooling later on. Well, there you go. One set of box jaw tongs in order to. Um, assist me in making my tooling out of the spring seal. Now, uh, of course, next week I'll be giving away a, a chisel very similar to this, which I'll be making maybe on the live stream, you never know. But if you want to enter that, that competition for my 250 subscriber giveaway, don't forget to check out last week's video, the Barbarian Belt Buckle. Make sure you watch all the way through, and then at the end, stick around for the details on when the drawing will be, and leave a comment and a reason why I should consider you for one of one of these tools. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, check out my previous vids, and I'll catch us all next time. Cheers.